Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this video about how to do the best break in Snooker 19. Very simple stuff. People have been asking me, how do you break, Chinny? How do you break? How did you get in my house? I broke in. So we're going to talk about breaks. For that, we need the snooker table. So I'm on the practice table on Snooker 19. And we're going to just run through a few of them. You know, nothing too exciting. Just kind of a few that I know of. So the first one is what I'm going to call the cheap and dirty break. Very easy to do if you can't be asked. It's been a long day and you just want to break off nice and quick. You just plonk the white ball where it gives you by default. You aim for the last red and you aim roughly, roughly about halfway uh, between the black and the cushion. So about there. You move the uh, power bar to around about 60%. Get there, go on, go on. Ah, there we go. And nothing on the white ball. And what this will do, if I get the weight right, will bring it to the brown. Sometimes it hits the brown, sometimes it doesn't. And you'll get kind of tuck behind the green. It's a little bit more riskier, this one. So if I did that again, um, exactly the same break. But obviously, you know, with every kind of attempt, you move things a little bit slightly different. This isn't the. This is the break that I kind of started out with. Uh, I don't do this break anymore, uh, but this one can kind of get results. Sometimes you can snooker in behind the green. You can uh, kind of get lucky with it, um, and it does split up the pack quite nicely. So this break, I don't mind too much, but I don't tend to do it. Let's just do it one more time just to see uh, variety. What you don't want to do is hit the blue. That's the saying. Whatever you do, miss the blue. Very important. So there, you can already see, let me, let, let, let's just take the next shot. You can already see I kind of left a couple of reds here. So not a great, I mean, I wouldn't want to leave that to my opponent because they're very potable in Snooker 19, as you can see. So we'll restart. Um, the more kind of professional break, the more, uh, uh, the, probably the best so the most professional break you can do in snooker 19 is uh, pretty traditional with the normal break in snooker. You do exactly what you would do. You move the white towards the the brown, either side, doesn't matter which side you do, whatever you prefer. In actual snooker, I actually snook, snook? I actually shoot this shot uh, from this side, which most uh, snooker players shoot from this side. But anyway, you just kind of took it by the brown, you play for the last red, and you put a load of right hand side or left hand side if you are playing on the other one. And then you just kind of aim. Now it's a bit of a difference here. You're not aiming for the middle. You're kind of aiming a little bit more over. Say if, if from left to right that's 0 to 100%. Instead of 50%, you're kind of aiming for around about 40%. You know, mileage may vary roughly around there that's what i kind of do watch me botch this now let's see what this looks like and it kind of looks like a professional break what tends to happen on these breaks is that it will knock two reds out like that and then bring them back in um, you can leave a red i'm not saying this is like foolproof but that's kind of what the break is like in real snooker unfortunately so again just aim 40 to 45 percent uh, you know between the, the the cushion and the black there no change to the weight and as long as you hit it it always sends those two reds gone uh, but it just kicks out that one maybe uh let's have a look let's do that again so a lot of right hand side make sure that you put the right hand side before you start adjusting anything so um put the right hand side there and then you want to find the red last red that's probably the best way to do it sometimes i forget to do it and then we just, no change to the weight. Off we go. You can play it a little bit slower, but it's got to come across the left side and then come across the right side. So you want to make sure that it, it kind of gets there. And again, it's a pretty good break. I'd say that's pretty decent. Um, and then what I'm going to do, so that's the break that I prefer. That's the break that I will do probably 95% of the time. Let's recap. All right. White, close to the brown. Bam. A lot of right hand side. Bam. And then we aim for the last red. Not halfway between the cushion and the black. 
about 40%, no change to the weight, and there we go. That one is actually pretty, pretty perfect. Uh, and that, like I said, is the break that I will do most of the time. In fact, that one's so good, I think I've actually snookered myself there. So that is the, the break that I always do. I would say that is as close as you can get to getting a consistent, perfect break in Snooker 19. However, there are a couple more, which I'm going to run through. Uh, and one of them is especially a massive dick move, which I'm going to go through as well. So we'll start restart the uh, thing again. Um, so the one that's uh, quite interesting is some people do this one. So they will play the last red and they play it really, really thin, like really, really thin. And then they will lower the power, maybe just above 35, something like that. So it just has enough to come back up. That might be a little bit too hard or too soft, either one. So this one isn't bad, uh, but it doesn't really open up the reds very much. So we'll do that one again. Um, again, I haven't moved the white. Play the red really, really thin. And then move it to about 36%-ish. And what that will do, if you play it too hard, it kicks out that last red too much. And it usually leaves you with a shot. But if you play it just right, you will kind of do this, where you kind of get them behind the yellow. I'll show you what happens if you play it a little bit too uh, thick or a little bit too hard. If you play it too thick, too hard, it'll, it'll tend to knock out that red. And then you might leave this red on. So it's a kind of kind of a risky break because if we just kind of play this shot now this is such an easy red for for most people to get that i wouldn't want to i don't want to risk it you know so um yeah so be careful of that one not a massive fan but i've seen a few people do it uh right the next one the next break this is the last break i'm going to show you is uh what i call the dick move Right. If you want to be a dick and uh, and and really screw someone over, you can do this break because in Snooker 19, it's very easy to predict how far your cue ball is going to go. People do the roll up break. So the roll up break, and I've seen this in tournaments. People have done this and they basically just roll up to the pack. You wouldn't be able to do this. I mean, you could do this in real Snooker, but it'd be much harder to judge it. In fact, I think I've under hit it. So that's the one risk. Uh, straight away. <laughs> there you go. That's why you shouldn't do it, folks. Um, but yeah, you kind of go up to it because um, you've only got to get the weight slightly wrong. Let's see if I can actually do it for the video. That's a little bit too hard now. Uh, but more or less, this, you sort of get the point. Um, I think it was worse than that. When somebody, a couple of times it happened to me on the tournament mode, it was really, really well done. I think this might do it. This might be the one. And it was just this. And it's just it just sets the game off so boring because then you just have to do a shot like this and then you know like that'll kick that out and um you're just playing tip tap snooker which isn't exciting for anyone that's a pretty good shot to be fair uh so i would advise to not do that and to um you know play the the, the one that i talked about where it's actually quite close to the normal um break that you get in snooker so those are the breaks that i know of that i think uh, are pretty useful apart from the roll-up break that's the dick move um and they're all got their interesting perks the first one is just very much easy quick to do the second one is the one that i do all the all the time and the one where i do a fine cut i have to say that carefully is is sometimes quite interesting but i mostly do the second one uh the fourth one don't even do that if you do that then you won't be my friend. So that's it. If there is a variant on the break that I haven't mentioned that you've got like a foolproof, oh my God, Chini, this one works all the time, uh, then let me know in the comments. Comment below and let me know. That rhymed. I didn't really think it would. Um... So yeah, just let me know and then I will we'll explore all those. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, welcome. This channel is all about snooker and maybe pool eventually uh, video games. I love video games. I love snooker. Um, so I kind of just make videos about those. Sorry about that. Uh, I just make videos about those. I have 
actually, hang on, wait. I am working, I've been saying this for so long, but I, I've got like a kind of emulator. This isn't the SNES Classic. This is a, an emulator with lots of different snooker games on it. And I've been ordering some on Amazon, some old snooker games. And I'm going to go through some of the older snooker games and look for some of the newer ones as well uh, and go through them. But I also play Snooker 19 um, pretty much every Thursday, although I'm going to have a bit of a break because I'm going on holiday soon. Uh, so if you want to play me at Snooker 19, you can. And if there's any other snooker games that you want me to cover or talk about, uh, let me know. Or pool. Like, I do like my, me some pool. I prefer nine ball to eight ball pool, but I like pool. Pool is pool. It's knocking, It's all knocking balls around and putting them in pockets. So thank you so much. If you like this video, give it a like. If you, uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, then... Uh, subscribe I really do appreciate it. I'm just a you know just a random dickhead on the internet making these things so um, you know it's all good thank you so much for watching uh, and if you want to join me on Thursdays when I am streaming live uh, then I'll see you on the felt thank you